What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I provided. Today we back with another profile piece. But before we get into that, I just want to let y'all know I got some merch up there. So, you know, a lot of people used to always hit me up how I can support the channel. How can I donate what your cash at? So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to support the channel, you know what I'm saying? Go buy a shirt or a hoodie or something. You know, because at least you get something out the deal. You know what I'm saying? A little promo. If you wear the shirt around wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? A little promo for the channel. And you know what I'm saying? You still support the channel and you get a shirt or a hoodie or a phone case or whatever it is out the deal. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to support us Numbers TV, go check out the merch and buy a shirt or a hoodie or something, man. But, yo, like I said, we back today with another profile piece. This one is on Cocaine Shice. Real name, Tarif Gary. In this video, we're going to take a look at his early life growing up in Brooklyn and his allegiance to a local neighborhood crib set. Next, we will look at the circumstances surrounding his death after being shot at the young age of 18. And lastly, we will look at how Shicey's name has lived on as he has memorialized and shouted out on a bunch of rap songs in recent years. Tarif Cocaine Shice Gary is from the 90s neighborhood in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. Growing up there in the early 2000s, he would make a name for himself for being extremely loyal to those around him. Shice would grow to be loved and respected by many people in the neighborhood, both young and old. Eventually, Shice would become a member of the G-Stone Crips, also known as GSC. He would be looked at as fearless and somewhat of a leader around the other GSC members that were his age or younger. GS9 rapper Bobby Schmurda, who was also a G-Stone Crip, will have a close friendship with Shice throughout their teenage years. In September of 2011, the annual Labor Day Parade was set to take place like it does every year in the streets of Brooklyn. But before that, on the night leading into the morning of the parade, Juve would take place. Juve basically signals a start of carnival. Music bands and revelers take to the street, whining and dancing in the early hours before the daytime West Indian Day Parade begins. It would be during Juve while attending a backyard party slash barbecue, Shicey would be shot in the chest. Three other older men were also wounded in the shooting, but Shicey would be the only one to die from his injuries. He was only 18 at the time and was still in high school. The story that would come out is that supposedly Shicey was murdered by another Brooklyn gang known as BMW, aka Brooklyn's Most Wanted. According to the NYPD, members of BMW were barred from the Labor Day party on East 54th Street and decided to retaliate by gunning down Shicey along with three other individuals. They go on to say that the death of Shicey sparked a war between the G Stone Crips and BMW, which led to several shooting incidents between the two gangs. They also mentioned the Folk Nation being involved in the following war which shows just how long the GDs and Crips been beefing in Brooklyn. This is before all the woo and the cho waves that the gangs all over Brooklyn are riding now. Although in Brownsville, they might have been wooing and choing by then, as it's common knowledge by now that Brownsville's wave gang and hood stars started that whole movement. There is also no mention of anyone ever being arrested for the murder of Shiesty. Fast forward a few years later to August of 2014 when Bobby Smyrna and Roddy Rebel would hit the music scene like wildfire after their first few videos would go viral for their catchy lyrics and dance moves. On the song Hot, which now has almost 650 million views on YouTube, Smyrda would shout Shicey out on the song, and then Roddy would drop a song called Shicey Time featuring Smyrda, where they would once again shout Shicey out and let the world know that the boys went crazy when Shicey died. Bobby and Roddy would be arrested and sent to jail soon after, signing their record deals, but the shoutouts from other rappers and love for Shicey would remain in his old neighborhood in East Flatbush. You can still run across a new Rest in Peace post or a shout out about somebody missing and loving Shicey still to this day on social media. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV is a quick profile piece on Cocaine Shice, real name Tyreek Gary. If you was in tune to the whole GS9, Bobby Smurda, Roddy Rebel when they came out, then you heard about Shice, you know what I'm saying? Like I talked to Shicey when I, you know what I'm saying? They got a bunch of different tracks where they, you know what I'm saying, name drop Shice. Also different rappers from that area like Fabio Forms from the 90s, Billy on Corey Finesse. You know, a lot of different rappers that mention Shice in their music or have in their, in their music before. You know, say he was a young, but he was like he was one of them. You know, say he was one of them. He stood out within his crew while he was alive. You know what I'm saying? So, like he was a main figure that still gets talked about and loved to this day. You can still see people on Instagram, like I said, supporting them and shouting them out, talking how much they miss him. This down the third, and also, like I said, if you want to support the channel, go buy some merch. I got some merch up there. You get something back. You get a shirt. You get a phone case, some a hoodie, whatever it is. You get a promo when you wear the when you wear the item. You promote the channel a little bit, which helps us out, and you're still supporting, and you're getting something out the deal. So if you want to support, like people be asking, just go buy a shirt. I appreciate it. If you want, send me the um, email me the picture or send me the, to Instagram, and I'll give you a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Also, uh, go follow the Instagram. You know what I'm saying? We almost got like three, four hundred um, followers over there. We're trying to build that up before we start doing some things over there. So if you want to help us out, go follow the Instagram. I appreciate that. Also, the emails in the description. Anybody that want to get at us on some business. Got a lot of things coming up you might want to be involved with, you know what I'm saying, to help promo 
Go check out the views, man. Your promo with us might help you guys out. We got a lot of things coming up, too. But other than that, I ain't going to ramble too much at the end of this video. Like I said, it's a profile piece on Cocaine Shice, Tyreek Gary. You know what I'm saying? It's What's the Numbers TV. It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.